Hi everybody, it's Scott here and welcome to the third video on detailed drawing. In this video we're going to look at and explain how to create tolerances for circular fits in your designs. I'm going to use these examples, these images, to explain how we refer to the different tolerances that we set for circular fits. So on the left hand side over here we have a hole that is set to MMC. So if you recall, this means maximum material condition. So this is basically the smallest hole that is allowable where we have the most material left in the part. Over here we have an MMC shaft, again maximum material condition shaft. So in this case, this is the biggest possible shaft that is allowable um, within our tolerances. If we put those together, we're left with a gap here, which is the amount of free play that this is going to allow. And so this is going to define the fit based on the size of the shaft and the hole. For comparison purpose, we'll show you now the LMC shaft. So this stands for the least material condition. And so this shaft here with the least material is the smallest diameter that we're actually allowed. And that would go in here something like this. So there's going to be more free play between this LMC shaft and the MMC hole. The gap is going to be bigger. Finally, let's take a look at the LMC hole. So this is the least material condition hole, so where the hole is the biggest and the part has the least amount of weight. So if we overlay this onto the same diagrams, we can see the full range of holes and shafts that, that are allowable within our particular tolerance range. So we can have a hole ranging from this size to this size uh, and anywhere in between would be acceptable. And then shafts raising, ranging between the least material condition here to a bigger one, which is the MMC. So these four dimensions basically define the fit that we're going to produce for this uh, shaft and hole combination. If we extend some lines across um, from the diameter of each of these holes and each of these shafts, we can uh, make these little boxes over here and we can reference them uh, to this line here. And what they actually mean, and this is the, the visual shorthand that we use when we're designing uh, tolerances and circular fits. If I just expand them a little bit, then the gray box here or the hatched box is the uh, size allowance on the hole. So this is the largest hole at the top here and the smallest hole in the middle. And so in between here is the allowable tolerances that we have on this hole. Down here we have the shaft. So this is the biggest allowable shaft here, the MMC shaft, and then the LMC shaft down below. And so this is the range that our shaft is allowed to vary within uh, for this particular fit. And the gap between the biggest shaft and the smallest hole is what we refer to as an allowance in the trade. So if we just move uh, the basis from down here to uh, the smallest allowable hole, and we'll call this the, the basis or the basic size basically. So if we had a 20 millimeter diameter hole that we wanted to create a fit with a shaft, then 20 millimeters would be uh, the smallest allowable hole and then we add whatever our upper deviation is to that hole to give us the range of the size for the holes. Then we have uh, this offset, this allowance down here to the largest allowable shaft size to get the particular fit that we're after and a range, a deviation on our shaft sizes down to uh, the, the smallest allowable shaft. And so these are deviations of the shaft and deviations of the hole. And once again, this is our nominal size here at the size of the smallest hole. 